Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the Kotlin tutorials and in this video we will continue with the discussion of control flows and we will get started with loops and as with most of the programming languages the first loop that you would be using is for loop however if you are coming from java background whatever that you have learned there about for loop it is better that you ignore that and have a fresh look here because this is how a for loop looks like i am sure what catches your attention here is the range operator and if you have been following code tutor fundamentals tutorials we had already used the range operator with the when in the previous videos so let's try to understand what this range operator means if you have a look at the official documentation this is what it says a range defines a closed interval in the mathematical sense it is defined by its two endpoint values which are both included in the range the key point here is both included in the range this particular for loop will basically include 1 and 10 and it will print the value between 1 to 10 that is 1 2 3 2 10 of course this is one way of writing range operator in the for loop the other way is one dot range to 10 which is exactly same as writing one double dot 10 and if you want to go in the reverse order you have to write down to keyword that is i in 10 down to one so that will move in the reverse order in all of these cases the increment step is one that is it always increases the value of i by one but if you want to change this you can do that as well for that you have to use something called as step keyword and then write how much increments loop needs to take so in this case it will take two steps and then you can use the step with the down to keyword also so whatever that you have seen so far one commonality among all of these is they are inclusive loops that is it includes 1 and 10 in the end points but if you want to exclude the last number you use something called as until that is i in 1 until 10 so this will make the loop go from 1 to 9 so that is the small difference between the previous looks that you have seen and the new one i think enough of theory let's get into a demo to actually see how this works so let me create another kotlin file let me call it as for loops demo dot kt and let me write a main function and inside this i can write for i in 1 2 5 print i and let me add a tab and let me run this as you can see here we basically printed the value from 1 to 5 and instead of writing one double dot i could have written range to 5 and this will print exactly the same value that we printed before let me put a new line character here as you can see here there is no difference between this double dot operator and range to operator let us try to print it in the reverse order so what do i mean by that is for i in 5 down to 1 and let's once again print i and now you will observe that i am basically printing the same values in the reverse order and let's now add the step function i can write 5 down to 1 and step 2 so if i run this now you can see that it increases or decreases by whatever the step count that i have given here i can pretty much do the same thing with this step 2 and run this here you can see from 1 2 is skipped then 3 4 is skipped then 5 and you can even increase it to 3 and once again run it and here now you will see that only 1 and 4 are printed because now the step count is 3 let's continue further whatever the loops that you have seen so far are all inclusive let's use the until keyword that is for i in 1 until say 9 print i and add a tab let's make it 10 so it becomes easy for us to understand so the expectation is this should print the values from 1 to 9 so let's run this and as you can expect the values that are being printed are from 1 to 9 so now the obvious question is how do we use this to iterate over an array even though i have not covered array as a part of kotlin fundamentals but i would like to just show you a glimpse i will create a 
sample array let me make it array of some random numbers of course if this sounds very confusing you need not worry i will be covering arrays and collections in a very detailed manner later but just for discussion purpose let's understand that what i have just created is array of integers and then how do i print it what i can do is for number in sample array print number slash t and if i run this you should be able to see the numbers here i think i should put new line character that will make it little bit more legible so this is how you iterate over a array of course there are more things we need to learn here so stay tuned for the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye